last we are graced by the presence of the third promise. If I'd known we'd be waiting on your mangy hide, I wouldn't have bothered with Eligarmanda in the first place. You self-serving piece of weaver dumb! Do you have any idea how many could have been hurt? <clears throat> now that we are assembled, let us begin. My name is Hunmuruk. As Sibras Rash, I have the honor of serving as elector on behalf of my people. As all four claimants must be present for this feat, we have eagerly awaited your arrival. Third promise, if you would please join us. Thus far, you have faced each other as rivals. The feat of repast, however, will test your cooperation. You must complete this challenge in teams of two. What? You expect us to work with one of these weaklings? Be warned. Only the triumphant team will receive keystones. I advise you to cooperate with your partner. Teams will be decided by lots. Those who draw the same color will be paired accordingly. Twelve forbid Wuklamat is paired with Bakul Jaja. After all he's put her through, I wouldn't blame her if she did something rash. I might even help. Clements, please present your colors. I have red. Blue. Separate teams, then. And the rest? Red. Which means. Together again, as fate would have it. <laughs> Victories as good as ours. With our claimants thus paired, so too is their opposition. Not the one head. Listen well, for the trial that awaits you is as follows. Each team is to prepare a sample of traditional Chebrol cuisine. Chebruk Pibil. And now we must cook another ludicrous feat. So it might seem, but there's bound to be deeper meaning to it. Agreed. Given that the very future of our nation is at stake, all parts of this rite must have significance. Our promises have grown rather promising, wouldn't you say? Indeed. If I were to guess at the significance of the feat, few things reflect the history and development of a culture so clearly as its culinary traditions. The variety of stewed dishes in Galian cuisine bespeaks their agricultural roots and cold climes, true. The 
peoples we've met on our journey. They've all had different practices involving food and drink. The Hanuhanu replenish their magical energies with reeds, while the Pelu Pelu have turned their fondness of beverages into a living. So basically, to know a people's cuisine is to know something of their ways. With each feat, we have deepened our familiarity with a given community's history and culture. Is this what Father intended for us all along? But a leader with his vision must see that the past doesn't hold the answers we need. It is through embracing innovation, not adhering to tradition, that we will usher Tuli Yolal onto a more prosperous future. are simple. The first team to prepare and partake of satisfactory Shibruk Bivir will be deemed victorious. You will be judged by your sample's taste and appearance, as well as your adherence to appropriate cooking techniques. Kitchens have been made available for your use. Note that you may be asked to retry should your dish fail to pass muster. Let the feet of repast begin. I've never actually heard of Shibruk Bibio before. It's a light, I wonder.